And welcome back guys. Hopefully there's nothing noisy when we load in here. We'll talk about some things regarding Fallout 76. It could not be placed. One of your free camp placement have been camp could not be placed. One of the free camps have been. Alrighty, that's weird. Maybe someone got to it. I don't know. Anyways, I want to get... Why is my cursor stuck over here? What the hell? Oh! That's because someone has a camp right next to me. Lovely. Annoying. The rats just have to move it. Damn, where'd I put it? <laughs> Alright. Maybe it's in this bush. I know I put it in a bush. Hi, uh, inventory. Um, I was about to be a little alarmed there. Eh, I'll just move my camp. It'll just be easier. Anyways, so I actually need to come down here and check out something there, so that's what I do. So once I get down here, we'll do a little review regarding Fallout 76 and why I could just kind of stop playing it. I'll play a little bit this time around, but I just want you guys to hear it from a Fallout person's perspective of why I stopped. Um, is there a setting where I can go into my audio? Easy menu. Like, for some reason, I can't go downwards. Like, what the fuck? Alrighty, I guess I'll have to do this hard way. You know what, I'll just do it towards the end of the video. That's why I can just exit the game and I can just kind of speak my mind. Of what I think regarding Fallout 76. Supposed to be some kind of house down here, it has a key, and then we can go to the vault basically. So, like, alright, sounds good to me. Supposed to be like some kind of farmhouse down this way. See, I don't like how I can't put my cursor down here, like, drag it down. Supposed to be like here somewhere. I look, the house icon popped up finally. I don't know, this seems really glitchy still. Uh, my plan is to buy it on the Xbox Series X. I have an Xbox Series X now. So, what I'm going to do is rebuy it on the Xbox Series X and see if it does any better. If it does, then you're playing it. If it doesn't, then you know my answer. Just gonna stop playing it. Got a player over there who's being curious. It's like, who's that? So most players will build their little base right next to here because it's a good place for farming, for logs and random crap. Alright. 
Oh god, those are bees. Oh! Go away. Looks like the house. So there's a key in here, and then it leads us to a vault. I was kind of looking up what's the best way to start Fallout 76, like, tips. I was like, alright, sure. I'll bite. Oof, that radiation, yikes. Give me those yum yum eggs. I don't know, it's, you guys can read it, you can pause it if you need to. Give me that shit. At the end of the day, it's literally random shit. <laughs> I want to make sure I have that key. Uh, look at all that shit. Maybe it's on a musical keys key. Key ring. Let's see here. Uh, okay, airport. We have a safe key. There's supposed to be a safe key in here. Hopefully I have it. That player's shooting at something. And I don't know how to crouch. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna guess that I have it. If not, I guess I'm teleporting back here, huh? I don't like this whole not let me, you know, move downwards, like cursing all the way downwards, like, I just don't like it. Alrighty. Get someone's can- come on, let me- You know, games like this that do this sh crap, it's real bullshit. No, I want to teleport. Eh. Come on. Why is this game such crap? I came in. Eh. I can't even say no on it, you. <laughs> so you can see my aggravation already. I already had to go for the Roid Arrow of. Okay, can I walk forwards? Can we get out of this damn animation? Jesus. So, you can already tell that I'm already pissed off and aggravated. We went for the Rodeo for Steam of, hey, how many times will it take to get the keyboard interface working? And now we're dealing with bugs inside of Fallout 76 where you can't cur move your cursor down and you can't press on certain tabs because the game set screwed up. Off to a good start. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, someone's been here recently. Well, I ain't going that low. I'd rather go in this way. Okay, stuck in animation. It's really annoying. I uh, know, for some reason, it just pisses me off when you know you're loaded in and you can't move. Got some random crap, not really enough crap to be worth taking. Some Danny Apples. Oh, a visitor! Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. What? There we go with that damn good shit. I might not be able to complete this because the game's glitching out. It should just make you appreciate the folks who are always there for you even more. Patsy Montana is up next. And I just gotta ask, has this ever worked for any of you? Ever? <laughs> Here is, I didn't know the gun was loaded. I really don't want to log out. Because it might do that thing where I won't be able to interface with the keyboard. And it's only a, it's a Steam related problem. I'd rather play on PC this way I could maybe do mods or something or put something in that's spicy. I want to go down to the sales pitch one. Whee! It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Then allow me to extend a warm shelter's claim center farewell to you, along with my thank- So the goal is to get away from this area. 
We don't want to be around here when someone comes snooping. For instance, this person comes back to his camp. Uh, I'm gonna move my camp over this way, I think. Right, we should probably explore this wall right here. Why not? screen. It's saying there's no supplies in it. I wonder if someone found my camp and uh, raided it. It's definitely possible. This looks like a place to be a boot. So now... Wow, I... I had no idea this was going on. The chambers seem so per I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of Fallout 76 here, and we'll talk about what I'm liking and what I'm not liking. And you'll now understand why I'm extremely pissed regarding Fallout 76. So, let's make it an image. Alrighty, let me exit out following 76 so we can talk. So, a couple lovely things about Fallout 76 
is if you're trying to play it through Steam, then for some users, they'll encounter the issue of the keyboard not being recognized by the damn launcher. Now, besides I noticed this is a problem, they had the same problem with Fallout 4, but it wasn't as bad as Fallout 76, in my opinion. Fallout 76, it's like playing musical chairs, wondering, okay, is it going to work this time? Is it going to work this time? Is it finally going to fucking work this time? <laughs> you know? But the thing that kind of pissed, the, the thing that tipped me off the edge today is where it glitched on the screen where I couldn't drag the mouse cursor downwards. And you saw I was having trouble in the terminal of clicking on audio logs down below where it would not let me go below the bottom midway between logs. New lovely glitch that's added to it now. So, from a fall per person's perspective, it doesn't have much immersion. It's just kind of like, hey, welcome to Fallout 76. You've spawned in a vault. You have no idea what the hell's going on. You have all these little robots saying, hey, welcome back. You're going to be learning how to live outside. And it's kind of looking at, like, really? This is the best they could come up with? Uh, in Fallout 3, you can at least... When you're spawning in the vault, at least get a boost from random crap that you can gather from the place you, you start out in. And Fallout 76, you start out inside of a vault 76 with nothing. Just the clothes on your back and nothing. <laughs> like, you, you get the general idea that you know, you, they give you the basic supplies, but, you know, it takes away from that adventure, the immersion. And I just like, okay, what the hell was I spawned into? Uh, my other perspective of playing this Fallout 76 is if it didn't have so many damn bugs, people might actually be in able to enjoy playing it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I see right now going on with the Fallout 76 series. I see it as not really worth continuing right now. Maybe if I get it on an Xbox Series X, I hear that it's, you know, not as glitchy on an Xbox Series X, and you can play it pretty decently on there, which I finally got one of those for my Christmas present, so, you know, once I'm done with Wizards 101, maybe I can afford a Xbox Live subscription again, and I can go ahead and, you know, download Fallout 76 on there. Uh, but where I stand right now, I just don't see the point in playing Fallout 76, sadly speaking. Uh, you know, you look at Fallout 3, a ton of immersion, great storyline. We all know what happens with games that have a really well reputation. They're good when they start, but eventually they lose what their game was originally about the more, that, the more games they produce along that line. Uh, I love the idea of multiplayer, just not the way they did it here. Honestly, in my perspective, they should have had it kind of like set up like Dying Light too, where you could play it as solo, as a solo player by yourself, or have the option to to be put in a queue to do co-op gameplay, and. My personal perspective is they should have had a multiplayer uh, tab where people could choose, okay, I want to play the game solo. Therefore, those people that don't do PvP or multiplayer can, you know, be in their own little isolated realm. For those that want to do co-op gameplay, they have the option. They can click on the option, kind of like what you see with Dying Light 2. Uh, same thing for multiplayer, for those that want to do multiplayer. The, and the idea of nuking each other inside of a video game is, you know, may sound fun at first, but is it really worth it? You know, you got those players that would like to play the game solo, but can't really do that without worrying about other players. So, you know, it just kind of ruined your fan base a little bit by doing what they did here with Fallout 76. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool idea. But when it comes down to immersion and gameplay and functionality, I, I do believe some of the choices they made regarding Fallout 76 were kind of like, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> yeah. 
So, regarding Fallout 76, I'm going to stop my gameplay here. I did a little bit of gameplay. I was originally going to try to explain the review in-game, but it's just too loud, and I can't even access the damn audio controls because the cursor won't let me curse, uh, bring the cursor world downwards more. It only allowed me to go up, left and right. It would not let me drag it downwards. So, <laughs> you, you can just kind of see how broken in a state Fallout 76 is for me. Uh, damn, if I got to sit there for 30 minutes playing with the interface just to get my keyboard and mouse working on PC, you could see why I'm really pissed. The point of playing a game is to relax, enjoy yourself, and have fun. Not sit there for 30 minutes fucking around with the keyboard and mouse to play a game. <laughs> Just to join it to find out that the game's bugged out and you can't even scroll all the way down to the bottom part of the map for your cursor. So, I don't know if you can see my cursor on screen here, but if it's pointing up towards the top here, then... Yeah, it was doing a lot of this where I couldn't drag it downwards. And I couldn't click on a lot of those audio logs or quests and things like that. Which basically makes the game unplayable. So let's say the que next quest line is uh, you have to click on something towards the bottom. And I can't click it because the game won't let me. You see kind of the problem there. Uh, it could be just something on my end regarding Steam. So... Like I said, something regarding the Steam Launcher does cause a problem for PC users that do keyboard and mouse. I'm going to wait a little bit, and basically what will probably happen with the series is if I do get it for Xbox Series X, then I'll try again. If I don't, then we don't. But uh, yeah, my experience regarding playing Fallout 76 was not very good so far. I hope their next game is better and a lot better thought out than what I'm witnessing here. Like I said, it would be awesome to have a solar player mode, a co-op mode, and a multiplayer mode. They're individually separate from each other, not mashed into one. Also, when Fallout 76 first launched, the idea of making people pay 100 bucks for a private server was a really stupid thing to think that people would pay that much. Maybe fifty dollars. At your, at, you know, you can look at Rust servers. People are paying like fifty bucks for a Rust server. And that's just one server. That's without server support. It's just running the server and the game off of the server. So, you know, damn. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm just going to kind of put Fallout 76 in the back burner until I either be buy it from my Xbox Series X or until they fix these bugs because it's kind of pointless to continue playing it if you can't even click on a quest. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to start mixing up my Wizards 101 gaming with another game just to keep things interesting. Anyways, I'll see you guys again soon.